Jason over here talking about the fallacy of Rona. I'm talking about getting swifty with another box of Rick and Morty season two trading cards. You ain't got nothing for me? He's nah, yelling at me because I just ordered logoed face masks. I ain't gonna bust your balls. He ain't gonna bust my balls on this one. Right. All right, 24 packs, five cards per pack. Autograph sketch card. Last box we opened was kind of booty. First one where we haven't really doubled our money or pulled some serious value out of it. Um, sketch was weak, autograph was weak, but we did pull a piece of fake memorabilia that kind of saved my financials on that one. Gonna get to cracking. This one looks like it got dented in travel. Hopefully it didn't affect any of the cards that matter. Um, love these things. The set is phenomenal. Foil inserts. Every pack's got inserts. So I got a foil set. We got a Plimbus set that I'm working on finishing. Um, most of this stuff will be up on eBay later today. Those packs all look normal. I was able to look at the last box and just happened to say, you know what, maybe this has something in it. And it did. It had a fake piece of memorabilia. Too bad it was Jerry and Confetti. Those all look the same. So... Let Jason kind of take his pick. We're going to get to cracking. See if we can't pull something worth a shit this time. Last box was very unimpressive, but still impressive. Uh, it's pretty... Jeez almighty, here we go. First pack. Fake memorabilia. Farts. Golden poopy. I wish I could poop gold. I probably wouldn't be making these videos, man. Actually, I'd probably make a video of me pooping gold. Get a million views in a heartbeat. Boom. Oh, man, that's cool, too. Look at that. I'm oh. trying to figure out how the fuck you keep pulling all the thick ones. You know. You Look at know. the glittery shit. Ron, if you eat some glitter, can you poop a card out like that? I probably can. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty cool, man. Fake memorabilia. I haven't seen this one yet. There we go, man. 20 bucks, 25 bucks right off the rip. Um, I'll take that. That pack didn't even look fat. So we got lucky. Um, this, this box is off to a wonderful start. Last time I kind of pulled out a thick pack and expected me to pull something. Uh, this time it was absolutely random because that pack didn't look any bigger. But we're looking for a real good hit on our autograph. Maybe a printing plate. Um, a nice sketch would be phenomenal too. Every pack's got inserts in it. Foil chase. Plimbus chase cards. Um, characters. The subsets are phenomenal. I'm going to be putting a bunch of these sets up on eBay and the subsets up on eBay and all the autographs and sketches. There's only been one that I've been, uh, that I'm keeping for my personal collection thus far. Everything else is going to hit the bay. So get your Twitter fingers ready to bid. Go ahead and snipe the items as they get close to ending. Uh, got good deals. If you like, subscribe and share this video out. And uh, message me, I'll give you a discount on anything you're looking for. If you don't see it on eBay, but I have already popped the, the pack and you want the item, let me know. Um, I'll sell it to you before it hits eBay or I'll put it up for a buyout of what we negotiate the price out at. Um, I want people to share in the wealth of what I'm pulling, man. A lot of these are really cool. So make sure you're subscribed to the video, man. It really helps us out. Share it to your favorite social media outlet. You can catch us on Twitter, uh, Instagram. Ugh. Haven't done a Facebook page. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Been a little busy trying to just slam y'all with some good content. So these are the foil chases I was talking about. You can't really see it in the light like that, but you can kind of see the shine. Uh, varies from the other. There you go. A little bit of foliage with the light there. Blind you. Um, so pretty cool nonetheless. Farts golden poop off rip, man. That's just phenomenal. I like that. Mm. Well, I'm just trying to get you to share the wealth and let me pull something worth a damn. I know. I the last all the good shit. Last box, it was all me. Jason putting basic cards in the uh, uh, wrong pile. The chase stack. Yeah, you know. But yeah, last box, everything that was a hit, I pulled. Um, totally random, you know. He swears I'd be totally uh, on bullshit. Like Might always. happen again. Keeps talking like that. I still want to pull a printing plate, man. There we go. Sarah Chalk, Beth Smith, numbered out of 100. Number one horse doctor. Inscription on it. Pretty cool card, man. Think that one uh, pulls, pulls some money for sure. I pulled the uh, Zeno Beth one. Um, selling that one as well. But that one that I just pulled will definitely hit eBay. Um, missed pulls, all kinds of stuff. So, you take a look at that one. Not sure what that one's worth. 
Um, season two, plushy Beth. No, regular Beth. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's about a forty dollar autograph with the inscription. Pretty cool. Sixty dollar with the other inscription, with the inscription we actually pulled. So that's pretty neat. Um, let's see what the materials worth. The fake material. Yeah, forty dollar card for the fake golden poop. Not bad, man. I'll take that all day, every day. So, so far, so good. The box is already profitable. Um, see what happens with the rest of them. Let's see what the sketch card is, man. Or maybe we'll pull another chase out of this. I don't know if they just completely randomized the boxes. It, it seems like that. Some boxes I've pulled CZ power inserts, uh, star power inserts. Some boxes I've pulled the fake memorabilia. Some boxes I've pulled just an autograph and sketch. So definitely a randomized set, to say the least. Um, but some good stuff in it nonetheless. Uh, we're down to just the sketch. And did Jay pull it? I don't know. He's having a problem over there. Three packs left. Sketch has got to be in one of them. Bumping the camera. Messing things up here. Just trying to that may be it. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hand drawn, Chris Papa Tunau, with some Japanese writing. Can anybody read that? Oh man, zoom in. There we go. No, no, no. Zoom in. No. There it is. I don't know what that little logo is he did over here. Um, let's see what the sketch looks like though. Oh, there you go. There you go. Pretty cheesy, bro. Look at the package on that dude, bro. You jealous? Fuck that's yeah. a swole ass Jerry right there, man. I think that's from the ego episode with Zeno Beth. That's pretty cool doing a little karate pose. How is that? Well, the cards are parental advisory, but good lord. So pretty neat, man. So we pulled the sketch, the Sarah Chalk autograph, the golden poop again. Box was a hit. Um, let me pull up the value real quick on that sketch because uh, I have not pulled him yet. It was pretty neat. He did like a little logo next to it. Uh, it's inscribed. I don't know what his are worth. The sketches are really hard to determine value just based off the absolute fact that they're one of ones, you know. So how do you really put a value on a one of one um, other than somebody actually wanting it or following that artist? Um, holy crap. This uh, this might have been it. That might might have been the hitter. Rick and Morty sketch cards by this young gentleman. There is only... One on eBay. And it is up for a hundred and fifty dollars. That was one hell of a box. Um, I'm assuming he didn't do a lot of sketches and it's rare. So let's say it's worth a hundred. You know. There there you go again. Over double the value off the boxes. I don't understand if you're not purchasing these. I mean, just for the sheer fact that you could get farts golden poop should be enough sales point for you. But that was a hit of a box. Uh, we'll be back cracking the rest of the case in other videos. Majorly impressed by them. The value on these is absolute insanity. Until next time, like, share, subscribe. Come join us on Patreon. Pack peelers, cracking packs, counting stacks. Those are facts.